family played a monumental role in helping me achieve my goals. They sacrificed many things. They had to travel long hours for work, but always made sure to take some time out for me at the end of the day to talk to me. I think once you learn to prioritize what's really important, you'll have stronger focus towards your goal and you'll have better chances of achieving. Hello everyone, my name is Samhita Paladi and I'm a student of grade 12 at Akash Hyderabad. I first heard about Akash through a friend who told me about the intensive coaching it was offering for school exams as well as Olympiads. Through Akash Foundation, I was able to secure state rank 1 in the NSO and in my grade 10 board exams, 97.2 percentage. After seeing the great results of Akash in JE mains and advanced, I decided to pursue my 11th and 12th grade in Akash. I chose to pursue engineering in grade 10 because I've always had an interest for math and science. With my entire family being from math and IT backgrounds, I've always been motivated by them to pursue engineering. Especially with my older sister preparing for JE advanced at the time, I was inspired by her to pursue engineering and try for a computer science seat in IIT Bombay. My preparation strategy started with always being regular to my classes. Then for every chapter, I would first focus on listening to class completely with full focus and then understanding the concepts. After going home, I would revise my notes to make sure I had a thorough grip on all my concepts and then I would begin solving questions. I would start with the targets provided by Akash with the exercise questions, step 2 questions and step 3 questions. I would then move on to the ECAPs, success achiever, success magnet and any other assignments provided by my teachers. Then I would make sure to clarify all my doubts with my teachers, small or big, concept related or question related. The journey of JE preparation involves many ups and downs for everyone. Sometimes you'll have a very bad exam or there'll be a chapter that's too tough for you to understand. I think then it's important to remember why you started preparing and to remember your goal. Whenever I was feeling down, I would remember that my final goal was to get into IIT Bombay. So then I would begin working towards it. If I ever had a bad exam, I would analyze the exam with my teachers and understand why it went wrong. The main thing is to learn from your mistakes and to focus on improvement. Improvement will come gradually if you keep working hard. I could not have achieved my goals of getting a good rank in JE without my teachers or my parents. My teachers helped me understand every single concept clearly and made sure I was able to solve all kinds of problems. They always cleared my doubts without hesitation and were always helpful to me in ways other than just studies. They helped me manage my exam strategy and my stress. They were able to help me make a study plan. Especially in physics, I was struggling with mechanics in chemistry, uh, inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry reaction mechanisms and in math trigonometry. Through these weak areas, my teachers helped me by discussing concepts again, by giving me questions to solve and making sure I understood where I was making mistakes. Without them, I could not have achieved this. My last month strategy began with making a list of the topics that I was weak at, including inorganic chemistry. Then I made sure to revise all the concepts and the good questions that I've solved throughout my journey here in those chapters. Especially with inorganic chemistry, I made sure to revise NCRT thoroughly multiple times before the mains to make sure I didn't lose any marks on a question I could have done. Then I made sure to write all the tests provided to me by Akash to identify where I was making mistakes. During error analysis, I would solve that question then go back and revise that concept again. Tests like the FTS and AIATS were really helpful to me because they gave me my All India rank which helped me understand where I was standing among all the students of Akash across India. I was also able to work on a last minute exam strategy and time management. I think distractions are an obstacle that every student preparing for JE has to face. Distractions like social media, YouTube or watching your favorite shows on OTTs, reading your favorite books. I think what I learned was that you have to learn to prioritize your studies over everything else. It's okay to watch something to relax for a little bit or to talk to someone. But when you realize that this is eating away your preparation time, you have to take a step back, talk to your teachers and your parents, understand how you can cut down that time and use it for studying. 
my teachers helped me with this and they helped me understand how to take breaks in between studying not only by watching a show or reading a book but by relaxing taking a short power nap or just talking to someone and then going back to my studies i think once you learn to prioritize what's really important you'll have stronger focus towards your goal and you'll have better chances of achieving it the syllabus for our board exams and for je is the same except in je the questions are asked on a deeper level to be able to solve those questions you have to have a deep understanding of the basics of the foundations of the subject if you have that understanding you'll easily be able to write your board exams the main difference is that the board exams are a subjective paper while je is objective so i did have to learn how to write a subjective paper in the given time frame but it, it will be easy for you with the help given by your teachers and with all that you've studied for je The final test series gave me a great boost in the last few months in my preparation. The final test series comprised of some part tests and some mock tests. Through the part tests, I was able to identify exactly which topics I was having trouble with and I was able to rectify errors I was making in certain types of questions. For example, forgetting some reactions in inorganic chemistry. Through the mock tests, I was able to work on my entire exam strategy, focusing on time management, managing emotions, not panicking during an exam, and it gave me the feel of the final mains exam. The best advice I can give to any future JA aspirants is be consistent in your work and always always believe in yourself. From day 1, Put your best efforts in, do all the work and don't worry about getting any bad results. You will only improve throughout your journey here. Always have confidence in your abilities and believe that you will get your dream rank in the end. All the best and I know you'll do great. Thank you.